Okay, so um, obviously we haven't um, come up with a, like a title for our thing, um, mm -hmm. our trailer yet, but we're still developing in the coming five years. But um, yeah, the genre of our I thing is the coming of age. Yeah. We chose to go with the coming of age because we were looking at from the last year's BFI speech, what we found out was the most used genre is thriller and horror, and some do comedy, but we found out that no one has did coming of age yet that we found on YouTube. So we chose to do the coming of age, and we chose to also stick to our old production and bias. And our storyline is basically four students who end up in IE for different reasons. This whole it follows the parallel narrative concepts because it's going to follow four different lifestyles and coming to one to work together. And the characters are like typical theory of the good guy, the bully, the druggie, and the nerd. And for our three X structure, we didn't explain in detail there, but what we're going to do is like one of the students gets in the IE, we see the student getting IE, which is a key turning point, and then we see three other students joining him in the IE. And then at the second X structure, the what they end up doing is they end up messing about in the IE and then the crucial turning point is the exclusion and then in the third act they all break in to get the CCTV footage of the racist teacher who's the reason they are in IE and get excluded. Um. These are the kind of mentions that we used to like present how we would film Could look like. Okay. Because we don't want to like give away so much in like the first few seconds, so we just wanted to show like snippets okay. of how like characters would be and how they would dress up. It's the second. Yeah. Also, we were using on the storyboard that we mentioned yeah. about a person wiping the rat. Okay. The and, that's, and that's how the title's going to fade in. For each character. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 So basically, um, our the concept of idea was uh, mainly inspired from the Breakfast Club. Whilst we have two other examples of people doing the tunes which have similar storylines, but the main focus was on the Breakfast Club. It is now 7.06. You have exactly 8 hours and 54 minutes to ponder the error of your ways. Any questions? Yeah. Does Barry Manilow know that you raise wardrobe? A brain, a beauty, a jock, a rebel, and a recluse. I can't believe this is really happening to me. Before this day is over, they'll break the rules. <laughs> Chicks, get out holy smoke. That's what it is. Bear their souls. I'm a nymphomaniac. Do your parents aware of this? Take some chances. Being mad feels pretty good. Huh? And touch each other in a way they never dreamed possible. How do you do that? Send me The Breakfast Club. And they only met once. I don't want to be alone anymore. You don't have to. But it changed their lives forever. And I can see you guys were friends. I'm not wrong, am I? Universal Pictures presents Emilio Estevez, Paul Gleason, Anthony Michael Hall, Judd Nelson, Molly Ringwald, and Ali Sheedy in a John Hughes film. Why are you so nice to me? Because you're letting me The Breakfast Club. This time we changed it to suit more of a British culture of having just boys. So that was one of the developments that we made. And this, uh, these are the costumes that we were like going to present our characters with. And that's the like, clothing for um, the nerd in the, in the scene. And this is how the bully would dress up. And the druggie, the druggie, 
and this one's called the nice guy. And we um, we searched like different like UK based characters and like films, and we picked up like the most like basic and popular props and clothing, and we like merged them into the characters. And we also chose to use a cricket bias from baseball bat, which is more British blonde. So the idea of like mise en scène to represent. This is our main location, which is around the school. <laughs> That's the picture of that room with where the most of the film is going to be taking place. And then it's just them entering, breaking in. That that will be the scene where they break in. Yeah. Um, wait, no, no, no. no. <laughs> the um, one thing we wanted to talk about as well was the audience and who our target audience was. Um, and we decided to aim it mostly at um, males who have um, at the category of C1 to D. Okay. Um, what, what was the age range? It was the age range of about 15 to 21. Yeah. Do you think there could be any changes to the storyline? Um, I think your storyline was pretty um, solid, but I think that the characters should be more defined, like. They should have more, um, how do you say it? Like a stronger character, like each one, they should have like a stronger character, yeah. What age group do you think it should be aimed at? Um, I think because it's a school setting, so maybe 15 to 21, because I think they can relate to the story. Which part of the storyline did you like and why? I liked um, at, like the ending, how they all work together to achieve the same thing. Like four characters coming together and like helping each other. What would make you want to watch the film? Um, probably because it's just the, the setting, like school. Like we can all relate to it and it's just interesting to see um, how four very different characters can work together when they want something, the same thing. Do you think there could be any changes to the storyline? I think the storyline is very good. I think it's quite unique, even though it follows um, a conventional structure. I just think the structure itself needed to be a bit clearer um, so that we could clearly see a... a more interesting beginning, middle, end, and maybe with the idea of that um, racist teacher kind of um, more prominent throughout the whole storyline. Okay. Um, what age group do you think the trailer should be aimed at? I think it'd be nice to aim it at 16 to 21, so that you've got the people who are actually being represented in the film, um, as well as maybe people who have just left uh, school. Uh, which part of the storyline did you like and why? I liked the whole idea of I liked the whole idea of all the different um, particularly British teenage stereotypes coming together. I think it's quite a British thing to stand up against prejudice, maybe a particularly a London thing. Do you think anything could be added to make the storyline more exciting? Um, I think it would be nice to have more clearly defined four characters. I think your bully and your druggy kind of crossed over a little bit and I think maybe even having a clearer prop for each of your four characters would really help to define them even more. And uh, what would make you want to watch the film? I think having some, some humour and making it a bit light-hearted and having a feel-good aspect to it. I think a lot of the British films that have come out tend to be quite grim and depressing so it would be nice if it had a feel-good feeling to the trailer. So what do you think we can improve on? Um, I think you can improve on the costumes. Um, I feel like they're not a full representation of what um, the young teens would wear today. Like, they'd wear a lot more things in style, like Nike trainers, Adidas trainers and stuff like that. And especially things like ripped jeans then trend right now. So what part of the storyline do you like and why? Um, I like the bit when um, all the kids are supposed to come back and break into the school. That seems quite interesting. And, you know, it's quite, you know kids are quite rebellious yeah. these days. Like that, so it's good. 
Do you think the movie could be aimed at um, an older audience? Um, no. I think the movie is more aimed at maybe kids between like high school and college around that age, or maybe even uni students. Do you think we can improve on our pitch? I think it's fine. Thank you, yeah. Thank you very much.